southeast of South Australia is a nice place to live, but there are sometimes bad car accidents. If you had a car accident here, the nearest hospital could be as far as 100 kilometres away, and you'd be relying on the volunteer ambulance team to help. To someone like myself who's a, uh, a farmer and has never really done much more than put a band-aid on, uh, training was quite daunting at times, but as much as it was uh, hard work to learn, because I was learning from a very low base, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. As an ambulance volunteer, when the pager goes off, it doesn't matter where you are, you've got to drop whatever you're doing and get to the station as quickly as possible. got called out to a major incident and I had to actually run back to the um, house and call into our comms and then we have to go inside and get changed and then come down to our station and then basically we wait for um, our other ambulance officer to arrive. Okay, one of the things that we have to do when we attend a, a scene of an accident is um, we need to go over to the patient and check to see if they're breathing, ensuring there's no danger to ourselves first. Um, usually we check for a pulse and see respirations and we try talking to them. Um, and if they, um, we usually get a response, then it's really good. But if we don't get a response, then um, all the alarm bells go off and we have to start thinking what we need to do in a hurry. I became an ambulance officer uh, probably mainly so I could uh, do something for the community. Uh, my name is Angela Marlowe and I'm an ambulance officer. I felt that there was a need for more ambulance officers in the area, especially in the daytime. It can happen to you just uh, because you read about it in the papers. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be read about in the papers on another day. It's not nice to have to go out to a scene or go to a casualty department where you see young people's lives just wasted. Volunteers like Rob and Angela are supported by a paramedic called Ross Elliott who lives about 100 kilometres away. Ross came to explain to Sky what a paramedic does. I'm a paramedic and you want to become a paramedic too? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Yeah? Okay, well the first easy part is to put on a jacket. That's the easiest part of it. Okay. <laughs> and from there on it's going to be a lot of study and a lot of hard work to go up to the paramedic level. Probably about four years university, but I can show you some of the equipment that we'll be using. Well, Sky, this is all the equipment that we carry into a, one particular job. So every time we go to a medical case, this is all the equipment that the two officers will bring in. It's all colour coordinated, the blues for airway and cool. airway management. Uh, this one here is for our tra trauma and our drug kits, the suction. And this one here is quite an expensive piece of equipment. It's an electrocardiogram, a defibrillator, which, like a jump starter, you know, we can get people going. And, of course, the good old faithful oxygen. Okay, which, cool. That's, the colour coding's cool. Yeah, it is. And all of the, this is just the start of it, and there's lots and lots. If we emptied that truck out, or the ambulance out, it would be a very large pile of equipment. And there's a lot of different things for different purposes. Oh, gee, Sky, we've got a job coming in. Uh, we'll, we'll go for a ride, eh? Do you want to come okay. with us? Yeah, I'd Angela Rob, will you help us pack this scarf back in the ambulance for us? Just After walk. learning a bit about the equipment, Ross sent Sky on a drill with Angela and Rob. Hey guys, you ready for this drill? Yeah, we'll just take Sky go. for a trip and make sure she knows what it's all about. Uh, Lucent Dale A1, Category B, to Lucent Dale School for a 13 year old boy being hit by a car. Case 360, 1430 twice. Roger, receive that. Proceeding to the school now. My life has obviously become more um, fulfilling. It's, uh, I, I mean, I've just opened up a whole new area that I never knew existed. It becomes a very rewarding job because you're out there helping people um, in a time of need. It's amazing how many people um, are really pleased to see you when you turn up with your uniform on. 
You can be just an every, everyday person walking down the street and then when you put your uniform on, people seem to look up to you and think you can actually help them and that's what we intend to do. That was a fun ride. I hope I never have to see the inside of an ambulance again though, unless I become a paramedic.